So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Toyota GR Supra 2.0, and I'm gonna take some time to go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your door locks, you've got your door latch, you've got your window switches, you've got your rear mirror adjust, you've got a JBL um, speaker, which I'll showcase some of the speakers when I get to the passenger door. To the right of that, you've got all your lighting option buttons, well as a dim level adjust for the gauge cluster as well. Moving to the gauge cluster, it is a full digital display with the center having this kind of like C um, of the tech. Now you can adjust between different options down at the lower right. And also the tech has a colored option which will kind of be more defined when you enter sport mode so you can see it also an audible change which you can configure um, how angry your sport mode is and I'll showcase how you can do that as well when I get to the center console moving to the steering wheel I was adjusting the options at the lower right is the BC build a computer button so you're pushing this in on the stock adjust everything that was going on up top on the steering wheel you have plenty of options such as the cruise control over on the left you've got your phone and talk options over the right mode on the back it, the steering wheel features um, paddles so you should uh, wish to adjust your own gears you've got down on the left and uh, up on the right give you a better look at the steering wheel the engine start stop button is located behind the steering wheel then we have the navigation display. So that kind of blinking is just the resolution of the screen on the camera. Um, but let's go back to the home screen. So all the way to the left, you've got media, you've got my vehicle, navigation, communication, connected services, and notifications. You can kind of adjust what you want this screen to show, but the um, most of the nitty gritty is under my vehicle. So. Uh, vehicle settings this is where you can adjust things like the interior lighting doors key information system settings all your displays the contents of the main menu that's where I just said you can kind of adjust uh, what you see on the front page vehicle status for like the tire pressure oil things like that driving information onboard info trip computer and one of the cool things is the sport display. So right now I kind of have the screen split. You can also have like it not split. So this sport display could be the whole display if you should wish. But I like the sport display screen because it showcases a live feed of the horsepower and torque based on how you put down your right foot. But you can adjust pretty much anything uh, on those screens. Below that, you've got a hazard button. You've got a mode, volume knob power button and different presets you can set for your media and entertainment. Below that, you've got your HVAC controls, um, for your fan, things, everything you, you know, find in many cars. Uh, nothing really important to note. Tucked below that, you've got a little cubby hole um, in other models. It's a charge pad, but it's just a little cubby hole. You got a USB um, plug and an old school smoker's plug, as I say. The whole center console, let me paint out a little bit, is wrapped in carbon fiber. Um, it is the only carbon fiber that is in the vehicle unless you get the carbon fiber edition Supra. So this is the only spot you're actually getting carbon fiber from the factory. In the middle, you've got your gear lever, which is much like the uh, BMW gear lever. Um, it features park as a button, and then you got reverse neutral drive on the shifter and once you get in the drive you can knock it over and you can be in the manual mode which you can then shift it from this gear lever or on the paddles behind the steering wheel you put it back into park so put it in park and it knocks it over to the right of that you've got a knob which will control the i drive system that i was showcasing above so it is not only touch screen but you can also kind of control it from the knob if you just want to go from the gear shifter to the knob to the left of that, you've got the auto start stop off button. This is where I was turning on the sport button. And when I push that, you can configure how you want that to be. So you can adjust steering, 
engine and transmission between sport and normal, basically. So you can make your sport mode basically normal mode doubled up if you wish, or you can kind of have like a hybrid mode, maybe some things you want normal, some things you want more sporty. Then you've got different parking sensors, traction control off and safety system buttons behind that. Parking brake latch right here. Behind that, you've got two cup holders. Little cubby spot located back here as well. Going to the passenger side, and glove box. Give you a better look at those speakers that I was mentioning earlier. So you got the JBL speaker up top. You got one tucked down there as well. Give you a better look at the door. These are the seats. So obviously it is only two seats. Um, the seats are manually adjusted. You see the crossbar in the back, which kind of stabilizes the chassis a bit, I imagine. Um, there is a cover for your trunk so nobody can see in what you have tucked in there unless they look through the front window to see basically back there. You see the sub box right here. Does not feature a sunroof, but you can kind of see the grooves to better give a little bit of headroom. Up top, you got your lights, SOS button. That is pretty much the interior of the 2022 Toyota GR Supra 2.0. If there is an option or feature on the interior that I didn't go to in depth enough on for you and you have some questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I would love to find the answers for you if I can. And if not, I'll be sure to point you in the right direction at least. Thanks for watching.